out here. I got my Loki tank from Atmom Hexhani uh, and it arrived but I had nothing to put in it. But I ordered a diver from uh, Digital Steam UK and it arrived the next day and it is now sitting proudly in my little tank. See if we can get a bit of focus on that. So there's the diver inside there. And I have to say, I've rebuilt this a couple of times now. And I like it a lot. Uh, I really do like it a lot. Um, now, how much did I pay? Now I bought this from, as I said, Digital Steam. And it was including shipping and handling and tax and so on. Uh, next day delivery, I got first class recorded signed for delivery, uh, which was £3.88. So the total delivered to my door next day was £44.60. Uh, that was in the UK. I know you can buy it from lots of other places. Uh, you can buy it direct from the diver guys themselves. Uh, but, uh, you know, I needed it quickly, and uh, the Digital Steam guys I've dealt with before, and uh, once again they came through and kept me right. Uh, now what I'll do is... Well, what I'll do is... I'll, I'm going to wing this. Uh, I've, I'm just going to go for it. Um, I have rebuilt this a couple of times already, so this is me taking it to bits again and showing you how I've been doing it. And, uh, but as always, check the other videos and see if anybody else is doing it differently or doing it better. Uh, don't just base it on how I'm doing it, um, and we'll take it from there. But let's go for it. Okay, I'm going to have a go at building this. Uh, and essentially everything you see here, this wee guy, the wee pin, you get a pre-made, pre and there's... Facebook going crazy. Uh, you get a pre-made wicking coil set up. You know, it comes in it all ready to go. But you do get a spare uh, ceramic cup as well. Uh, now, I have to admit that uh, I've not really watched any reviews on this. I'm kind of going... Uh, I'm winging it. So... Um, well, we'll just go for it because it, it kind of looks self-explanatory to me. But the big thing you have to decide is: do you want to use resistance and no resistance wire? So you're going to have a piece of resistance wire, and then two tails will be made up of non-resistance wire. Or do you want to use just pure resistance wire? Now, if you use pure resistance wire, then that means that the uh, you're going to have to, you know, keep an eye on your resistance because, well, basically put it like this. Uh, if I just use resistance wire, there's a chance that the resistance is going to be a lot higher than if I used resistance and no resistance. Um, but I cover that in other videos. So, so for this, I'm just I'm going to use 0.3 canthal wire. Um, I'll give this a bash. I'm not going to bother with the uh, resistance wire as well. I mean non-resistance wire as well. So I'm just going to cut that wee bit off just to play with. Uh, I'll give it a quick flame. No, it's just to take the tension out of it. And there we go. Right. Uh, now this is three millimeter uh, silica wick, standard silica wick. Now normally I would probably like to double it over and push it into the cup but uh, this 3mm wick is just a little bit on the big side uh, I think for this for doubling over 2mm would be better in my opinion so I'm just going to use a single strand of 3mm uh, uh, that's that's my weapon of choice today but you know it's entirely up to you but I would probably recommend that you go for 2mm and double it over but I just don't have 2mm with me today 
So I've got a little pin there, and I'm just going to make some wraps on this. Absolutely no idea how many I'm going to get here. Four. So I've got four wraps on there. I'll pull my tails out down the bottom. Make sure they're nice and neat. And there we go. Or there we don't go because you can't see a thing. So, now, the thing when you're using these ceramics is you've got to go through two tiny little holes in the bottom there. And the easiest way to do it, or the easiest way I've found, is leave yourself plenty of length, but cut one a bit shorter. Like that. That means that you can line, you know, you can get one through the hole. But it still allows you to work with the other one as well. It just, uh, it just makes it easier to get them through the holes if you have one shorter. Because one goes through first and then you can actually see what you're doing with the second one. And I'm just going to pull that down a bit. And there we go. We're in ready to go. And the usual setup. I'm going to take one of them. And it's actually going to go, we'll get in a bit closer here. It's going to go down and make your live connection. So I'm just going to snip a tiny bit off that. Push it over like so, and hopefully, poke it down the hole. Like that. Um, I've got tools lying everywhere here. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and tidy down there. Because what's going to happen is, this pin that will make contact with your center post and your mod, your firing post, uh, will actually go in there eventually. Now, this bit, as far as I can see, and I must admit I'm not 100% sure, I, I really am in, uh, the negative, I was just leaving it up like this because what I found is that when I'm pushing it in here it's actually you know it goes down a little bit it actually makes contact with the lip here which creates your negative connection uh, so I'm actually just snipping it off like that and turning it up so that's all I'm doing. Do you know whether it's right or whether it's wrong? I don't know, but it's working for me. You know, it's working. Um, so, now, you have a hole on the tube here where the fluid goes in, the liquid goes in. And I've been puzzling about this one, I'm not sure. But, you know, if you had the hole lining up there, then it's only going to provide juice to one of the wicks. If you have the hole lining up there, one wick. So I'm kind of guessing that you want the hole to be here, in the centre, so that the juice will come in and feed both the wicks. Guessing. Um, but once again, it's working fine for me. <laughs> um, so... Kind of what I've done is I took the tube and I popped it on, tightened it up, and saw where the, the air hole stopped. And I just made a wee mark on this tube here, the bottom bit, just scuffed it uh, underneath. 
uh, which means that I know exactly where I need to put the, the wick in place. It's much the same as we did with the sidewinder, you know, when you had to line up the the switch, you weren't sure where to put it. It's just kind of following that same thing, so... Sorry, I keep dropping out of focus here. So I've popped that in because I know that's where my mark is. And I'm going to take this post, I'm going to push it in. And do I want it any further than that? I'll push it in a little bit more. Then push this down. You know, because you want that negative connection to, to meet up. And that should be it. Should. Now the easiest way for me to check this before I go any further is to actually stick this on my little... Uh, reader that I have here and I'll spin this on ah see this is what happened before now look there I don't know if you'll be able to see this see how the the cups actually lifted from the base there That's come out at 1.69 for me. But this raises a... Uh, just, maybe I'm doing the negative connection wrong. But you're going to have to be so careful when you screw this onto an atomizer. Because if you push that connection in, you know, if you just over tighten it a tiny little bit, then I'm breaking the negative connection. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, once I finish this, I'm going to go and check the forums, uh, which I probably should have done at first, but what the hell, I'm just going for it. Um, so that's that's me on there. So I want to tidy up my wicks first. Now, the thing with the wicks is you obviously you don't want them to come down any further than the threads here because they'll get caught. So... There's one cut off. I know this looks a bit messy right now. And two cut off. It just means, you know, when I push the this over it, it's not going to get it in the threads as such. Now I'm just going to prime this a little bit. actually put a little bit round the, the o-ring as well here it wouldn't hurt get my diver tube push her down and there we go looks like I got a little bit caught there oops Right, once again, I'm just going to check this on here. Yep, still 1.66. Now, let's clear the decks. So, that's me made up and ready to go. And now I'm just going to stick in my newly arrived Loki tank, which I love with a passion. And uh, what I've been doing is just sticking a straight drip tip on this first. I see I've pushed that down. I bet you I've lost my connection. No, nope, still there. And then I just... Uh, I'm just pushing it through a tank. Like so. 
and there we go it's all set up I've just got to fill it with juice give me a second okay here we go uh, right that's it in a Loki tank from Atmon Hexani uh, on a Nemesis and chance to build up. Right. I don't understand this one. I had a killer. I liked the killer. But the killer was fussy as hell. Uh, you had to have the the right kind of tank and you know you can adjust the flow and things like that but uh, you know it could great device don't get me wrong but it could be a bit pernickety sometimes it would work 100 percent sometimes trying to get that balance right was just uh it could be a pain in the backside uh, but once again don't get me wrong it's a really good device this there is no adjustment as far as I can see. You have a, a hole punched in the side of a capo tube. But I'm not getting any flooding. I haven't had any flooding. I've rebuilt this twice now. Um, it just works. Now, I'm using 50-50 PGVG and I'm not having any flooding issues at all. Um, So the only thing I'm finding is that that resistance is a little bit too high for me, I must admit. Uh, so I'm just going to pop it on uh, my DNA mod here. And I'm up to 13 watts. That's good. That's really good. Uh, and you know it keeps up no bother. Uh, there's no dry hips, there's no nothing. I just I'd love to get all technical on you and tell you why it just works, but uh, it does, it just works. Uh, the, the only... Right, I'm going to stop a second. I'm away to go and investigate and see what other people are doing about the negative wire. Yep, quick read up and that's what looks like you're supposed to do. Uh, you know, when you push the cup, the, the brass pin in from the bottom and you push the ceramic cup down you trap the wire in there like I showed you uh, but as I said it means you're going to have to be careful uh, that you don't over tighten or you're just going to end up pushing the ceramic cup up and you'll lose that negative connection now if you do it's not the end of the world because what you can do is take your drip tip off grab a screwdriver or anything that's going to fit down the tube push it down and that's it solved. Uh, that's what I've been doing and it's working fine. I'm going to come straight out and say that I really like this device. This is, this is exactly it's simple, <laughs> it's really simple, uh, and it works. Um, the only, like I said, the only decision you have to make is if you want to use resistance wire and non-resistance wire, 
or just resistance wire. If you use just resistance wire, remember you're possibly going to have to watch your wraps, reduce the number of coils you use uh, because the resistance is going to be higher due to the length of the resistance wire. Uh, so bear that in mind. Um, if you're using a variable voltage device or anything like that, it's not an issue. Uh, but if you're using it on a mechanical, then you're going to have to keep an eye on it. All in, I think this is... This is my personal favourite that I've used out of the diver and the, you know, the killer. I kind of prefer this for my e-liquid. I don't know how it's going to perform with like 80% PG, 20% VG. Uh, I've done some reading and people don't seem to be getting any wicking issues and good reports with 100% VG. So it looks from what I've read now, looks okay. Uh, good device, very good device, and I think I'll have a little bit and then I'm off. Excellent. <laughs> oh, <James. laughs> uh, and that's me, guys. All the best. We'll catch you later. Cheers now. Uh, listen, this is just my opinion. Um, Go in the forums, watch other reviews, uh, see if you can find out other hints and tips. Uh, but as best as I can see from using it the past you know, day and taking it to bits and rebuilding it a few times, it's fine. Uh, but uh, we'll catch you later. Cheers now. Bye.